Well, to get the latest on the situation there, let's go live to Moscow with Nick Holdsworth. Nick, first of all, talk us through all of these new restrictions that are set to go into place October 28th. Uh, Moscow is bringing in restrictions a, a couple of days earlier than the national restrictions uh, announced by President Putin yesterday. Um, this is because of fears that um, Moscow could see even worse figures for its 12 and a half million people than the rest of the country. Um, that bars, clubs, um, entertainment venues, they're all going to have to close. Restaurants are going to be allowed to uh, do takeaway services, as you've just said. Uh, shops, pharmacies will remain open. Um, there was no word about insisting on a mask mandate, which is unusual because that's one of the simplest measures for combating uh, COVID. I was on the metro earlier today and I counted as I came down the elevator into the metro, uh, half the people coming up the other way had their masks off. Inside the carriages, half didn't have their masks on. The Moscow metro says it is going to be tightening those restrictions. No sign of it so far. Um, Moscow has also ordered, just a couple of days ago, the over-60s who aren't vaccinated, they've got to stay at home now for the next four months. Uh, that's because the over-60s make up by far the largest number of those in hospital, 60%, those on ventilators, 80%, and deaths, 86%. Um, there's also this order nationwide starting at the end of the month for employers to send at least 30% of their employees um, home to work remotely over the four months. Um, the Kremlin really is worried about how COVID is going to roll out in Russia over the winter months. And this is a country where only 35% of the population, about 45 million people, have actually taken up the vaccine. They're very vaccine hesitant in Russia. They don't like the Sputnik V and can't obtain any European or Western medicines uh, uh, vaccinations here at all. Nick, talk us through the numbers a bit more, if you will, about how bad the COVID situation is in Russia at the moment and what they're projecting. It's, it is bad. Um, earlier this week, they hit a record high of 1,015. It crept up yesterday. It was 1,028. Today, it's 1,036. Um, there are 36,300 odd new cases. Um, the highest death rate in Europe, 227,389 are the latest figures. Those are believed to be an underestimate. Excess deaths since the start of the pandemic, anywhere between 400,000 and 660,000. You take your statistical analyst and choose. Um, things are really bad here, but the government does not want to go into full lockdown. The Kremlin was very badly politically hit by the months of lockdown last year. The economy tanked. Uh, Russians blame the government for not supporting people. Uh, there were none of the kind of COVID grants that have been common in Europe. Um, on the other hand, they're terrified that this pandemic could really completely get out of hand uh, over the severe Russian winter that is coming up. It was snowing yesterday. It's going to be a cold winter by all accounts. Mm. Nick, thanks for that. Nick Holtz with their reporting for us from Moscow.